Hey guys, it's Lorraine with Brand Name Closet, and I am here today to do a What Soul video. I've been gone for a couple weeks, so these will be sales from right after Father's Day until yesterday. Let's get started. It's time for summer, so I recommend everybody get their summer stuff listed. Shorts, t-shirts, tank tops, lightweight tops for women, uh, jean shorts, all that kind of stuff is selling really good right now. These are some Champion Women's shorts. They sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Here's an Old Navy uh, woman's lightweight zip-up hoodie. It was in really good condition. I got this from, I'll call it the 41 cent sale which was a couple videos ago, I said that I had gone to my thrift store and you could fill a bag for $10 or $5. So everything I got from that day was about 30 something pieces and it ended up costing 41 cents each. So this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. This is a, a pair of leggings from Azalea. They were kind of silvery gray color. Took a best offer of $9 plus shipping. Here's another pair of shorts, Sonoma Life. They are plus size women's, which sell really well for me. These sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Got this for free. It's MRM uh, Vitamin C about ready to expire uh oh well it expires this month so uh somebody bought them for 12.99 plus shipping oh free shipping these i picked up at a recent estate sale for a dollar it's three pads of shopping list paper with horses and they sold for 14.99 with free shipping this is the uh 2020 whole foods beauty bag they do one every year. They cost uh, $20. They usually sell out within a day or two. And there's usually two different versions. This was the Conscious Beauty Bag. Um, that was $20 and it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. These are really special bags. And if you can get them, they're, they're awesome to give as gifts or to resell. Um, I was lucky on this one to make, um, geez, what was that? $30 more than I paid. So it was a good deal and I know the person will love it. This was my first free people uh, piece of clothing I had ever gotten. I got this from the, I'm going to say, free San Francisco lady who had a bunch of bags out that she said I could come and pick up. This was one of the items in there. I was surprised it didn't sell for much, but I've had it since before quarantine, so I took an offer of $5 plus shipping. This is from an estate sale. I paid a dollar. Uh, I think you know that ink sells really good, and this is just one that was out of the box. I didn't have an expiration date because the expiration dates are listed on the cardboard packaging. So I just listed it as unknown expiration date and ink pretty much always sells. So sold for $9 plus shipping. This was from the San Francisco Free Lady and it was an Alcoholics Anonymous book in Spanish got it for free and it sold for $8 plus shipping. These were some Boom Boom Women jean shorts. They are getting up in the plus size at 16 and I took a best offer of $8 plus shipping. This was a new Asics uh, men's running tank and I got this at the 41 cent sale and it sold for $9 plus shipping. This I got for free, some uh, Celestial Seasonings Herbal Tea, Sugar Cookie Sleigh Ride. It was around Christmas time that I got this, and it sold for $2.99 plus shipping. This I picked up from an online estate sale, a lot of three different statues for 
six dollars so i paid two dollars it was new with tag uh by country artists a little cute kitty on a pillow bed and it sold for 15.35 plus shipping these were some vintage napkin rings from an estate sale i paid two dollars and they sold for eight dollars plus shipping this was a pro care wrist splint that i personally was given by my doctor and I ended up not needing it so I sold it for $12.99 plus shipping. This is from an online estate sale. Um, I won a lot of three mirrors for $9 so they were $3 each. This one sold for $26 with free shipping. It was beautiful walnut wood um, and definitely vintage. It's a hand mirror. This was an Avenue Woman's plus size uh, short sleeve hoodie. Perfect for summer. Somebody sent me an offer for 14 plus shipping, and I took that, and I don't remember what I paid for it, unfortunately, but it was probably about $3.50. Um, a set of four Williams Sonoma heart shaped plates. I did pay up for these. I paid $8, so not a lot of profit there. I took an offer of $15.99 plus shipping. Got these for free. Um, Ebu playing cards for kids. Really adorable. Um, I got an offer of $6.90, so I took that, and it was free shipping, so didn't make much money off of them, but I got it for free, so... Another uh, plus size woman's uh, Westport tank top. It was really cute with embroidery on it. I paid $3 for it and it sold for 11 plus shipping. These were a brand new pair of Levi 501 cutoffs for women's size 29. They I paid $7 less 25%. And I took an offer of 20 plus shipping. They had cherries embroidered on the front on one leg. Really cute. This was a brand new set of Mary Kay makeup brushes. Bought this at a garage sale for $2 and it sold for 14 plus shipping. This I got from the 41 cent sale. For, it's a new with tags, Eddie Bauer Women's Plus Size 2XL flannel boyfriend shirt, really awesome piece, uh, paid 41 cents and sold it for $24.99 plus shipping. These I picked up for a dollar. I picked up about six of these plates, different designs. This was the Return Ulysses. It's a cameo plate uh, made in some studio, I think in LA or Santa Barbara something like that and I took a best offer of $12 plus shipping these are coasters from an estate sale I paid two dollars and they sold for $8.99 plus shipping these I picked up for about 75 cents each not a lot of profit took a best offer of four dollars and I still have four or two sets of them left I think I'm going to re, um, revise this other set and maybe sell them for $9.99 with free shipping just to get, get rid of them. Not a lot of profit. This is was a brand new Wolf Carolyn zip travel case that I picked up at Goodwill right before the shelter in place. And it sold for $29.00 plus shipping set of three Whole Foods Market shopping bags these are these small handle ones that are really convenient to carry your groceries in they don't get too packed up and heavy and I paid three dollars and they sold for $19.99 free shipping this is a DGK sleeveless tank top I don't know if I paid a dollar or two for this, but it was at an estate sale, and when I took it up to pay for it, the lady said, 
oh, I just need to tell you that there are marijuana leaves on the printed fabric, and I don't know if you're okay with that. <laughs> and I said, that's fine with me. It's fine. And I listed it, and it sold within 48 hours, so $16.99 plus shipping. These were just a, a terrible buy um, right when I started really getting into reselling again last year. And I paid $6 for all three of these. And you can see they only sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Uh, they just, I don't know why, they just sat there for almost a year. Over a year. Anyway. Uh, these were from an online uh, estate sale. And when the auctions all end, if somebody doesn't buy something... I will go back and look at what didn't sell and then talk to the auctioneer about picking them up when I pick up my other wins. And this was one of those items. They are a vintage tampon holder. Uh, I guess in the day you would put two tampons in that little case and throw it in your purse. It came with eight different colors. One of the cases was cracked, so I threw it out and I listed them as a lot for $35 plus um, shipping and someone bought these pretty quick um, not bad for a five dollar investment this was a set of uh, churchill royal mail blue dishes that i bought at goodwill for 20 there's um 20 dollars there's several pieces and it's been an overall dud i still have a lot of pieces left that i would love to get rid of um I might look to replacements.com and see if they are low on this pattern. But I took a best offer of $2 for one plate, and I still have four left. This I got from the $0.41 cent sale, uh, Lane Bryant Women's Plus Size, again, a long maxi skirt. Great for summer. It has like a slit on the side, some ruching. Uh, around the hip and it's just a really cute skirt. I took a best offer of $13 plus shipping. This was a Johnny Cash t-shirt. It wasn't in great condition after I really got to look at it, um, but I had already paid for it, 41 cents. And so I got, I don't know, I think I only listed it for about $7.99. And someone sent an offer for $3.75 plus shipping and I took it. This is a, uh, I talked about this a couple videos ago. It's a womanizer personal massager for women. And they were selling for about $100 on eBay. So I listed mine for $90 and took a best offer of $75. I probably could have gotten more, but I just really wanted to get it out of inventory. I paid $0.41 cents for it. So it was worth... Uh, you know, getting it shipped right away. This is uh, one of the new swimwear pieces I got at Goodwill a while ago uh, when they reopened briefly. Um, during, during the shelter in place, Goodwill opened up for, I don't know, a few weeks and I think they're shut down again now. So I paid $3. I got several of these tankini tops in different sizes. This one was a 14 and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Another lot of uh, Whole Foods reusable shopping bags. Small ones, just like before. I paid $3 and they sold for $19.99 with free shipping. This is uh, one of the kitties in the estate sale kitty lot. I paid $6 for three statues. This is the second one that sold from that group for $7.99 plus shipping. These I got recently at, a, at an estate sale, um, five pairs of Christian Dior um, discontinued ladies um, nylon stockings. I didn't even put stockings in the title there. Hmm, interesting, I should have. Anyway, they sold uh, within a week. I got an offer for 20, so I took that plus shipping. This was a $3 Goodwill buy, brand new with tags, Danskin sports bra. Uh, really, a really great bra, and it sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Another ink cartridge. 
paid a dollar at an estate sale, sold for $7.99 plus shipping. This is a Wrangler Western Pearl Snap men's shirt. Great for summer. Sold this within a week of listing it from the 41 cent sale and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. This is an interesting thing I got from an online estate sale, which means pretty much that you buy it sight unseen and you go pick it up after the fact, after you've paid for it online. And um, so this came in a lot with a few other weird things, but it's a muscle electric nerve stimulator. And it came with like contacts that you would put on your body and I don't know. I guess it shocks your muscles into working a little better. Uh, I paid no more than $5 for the lot. So $20 plus shipping, that was the best offer and I took it. Cute boho hippie bucket bag uh, purse. There was nothing wrong with it, super cute. Paid $5 for it at a garage sale. It sold for 15 plus shipping. These are some Dermis Surrey Milk uh, Brightening Face Exfoliator. Um, paid, I don't know. I think my mom paid like $7.99 for a case of 12. And I've been selling them off slowly for her. Uh, this sold for $14.99 with free shipping. These kind of old Instamatic film is really great to get because people love to buy them. Even if they're outdated, they like the effect of um, the film when it comes out of the camera. So this was um, Fujifilm and 20 prints. It was new in package, old stock, sold for $12.99 plus shipping. I paid $2 at the thrift store. This was a vintage, really beautiful Homer Laughlin um, serving platter. The pattern is Lotus High Rhythm, and I don't remember what I paid for it, but I took an offer of $7.99 plus shipping. Um, you know, it's kind of big and bulky to ship, so I was really happy to get rid of it. I'm trying to rethink my purchasing processes as far as the the size of an item because uh, I have to ship a uh, backpack. I think it'll, I think it comes up in this video and then I'll talk about the shipping nightmare. This was um, another mirror from that lot of three that I bought for $6. It's um, a celluloid handled vintage bake light handheld vanity mirror. Really nice. Had some scratches but it doesn't seem to matter because there are collectors for this kind of stuff so it sold for $16.99 plus shipping this is a pair of Levi's 501 just classic blue denim I usually list my jeans at about $19.99 these were missing the leather patch on the back but I didn't think that mattered because they had the button fly so we know they're 501s anyway and so they sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And these were from the $0.41 cent sale. A Shishido um, Japan makeup bag. I've had this for a while. I paid $2 for it at Goodwill. And not a lot of profit there. It sold for $8.49 with free shipping. This also didn't sell for much. Um, I've had it for over a year. A vintage gravy skimmer. It's like a measuring cup. Um, cool thing to have. I uh, paid two dollars for it over a year ago and it finally sold. I took a best offer of $4.50 just to get it out of my inventory plus shipping. This is a well-worn um, Fender guitar t-shirt that was at the 41 cent sale. So I listed it low and it sold low for $6.99 plus shipping. Got these at a recent estate sale. I paid a dollar. I got five of these magnets, um, and somebody gave me an offer of four fifty for one plus shipping, so I took it. These were some free DVDs that I picked up from a neighbor. Uh, I didn't know the condition. 
I uh, don't have a DVD player in, in the house, so I just sold as is, untested, and uh, somebody offered 16 and I took it with free shipping. Another tankini top, paid $3 at Goodwill, sold for 18 plus shipping. This was a champion uh, workout bra with like a cami over it that was all attached. Got this at the 41 cent sale and it sold for $9 plus shipping. These were some really cute uh, mid-century modern uh, pedestal coffee cups and they had like a really cool chain link on them and I thought they were super cool but I ended up having them for probably six months paid a dollar a piece and somebody sent an offer for $6.99 so I took it I don't like things to sit around very long in my store uh, I put a video out for this I think this week or last week um, go watch it it was an auction gone wild I paid five dollars for this at an estate sale because nobody else wanted it and it jumped from $33 to $102.50 during an auction and I was able to capture the last 45 seconds of this auction so it was really fun you can see that if you uh, go back one video on my channel um, it was a barber razor sharpening stone uh, by Reliance and it had the paperwork with it so it was I guess more valuable that way this I've had for since last summer. I paid a dollar for it at a retirement home garage sale. Uh, they had like maybe four tables set up in their lobby there. And I paid a dollar and I took an offer of $8.99 plus shipping. This is the Buffalo backpack, uh, genuine leather. And I paid I think I paid six dollars for it and it was brand new with the tags it had some scratching and, and shelf wear sold for $49.99 plus shipping and then when I went to ship it today in fact you it, it's going she wants it to go to a post office box which is nearly impossible and the box is really big and I didn't charge enough for shipping, and so I have to send it out through FedEx, which I never use FedEx for eBay. So we'll see. I've got to uh, get a hold of the buyer and tell her she needs to give me a physical address rather than a P.O. box. But it's sold for 50 plus shipping. We'll see if um, I can refund her money and her change her address. And that was it. That was a few weeks worth of sales like two weeks I think two or three weeks probably two weeks um it hasn't been really crazy busy my life on the other hand has been really crazy busy so um I wanted to get this out things are getting hectic and quite honestly uh I got a call yesterday from the LA Los Angeles coroner's office saying that they found my brother deceased in his house um, he died of natural causes but because of COVID you know nobody can go down there to go through his things so it's just been kind of a nightmare it was a shock and I am now uh, pretty much planning his um, cremation and burial from 500 miles away so we're doing all that by phone and just um, getting the word out to family and relatives and um, it's just been a struggle it's been a struggle but anyway I wanted to get this video out and I'll let you guys know that I'll try and get back on next week when things are a little more calm around here and it's really late right now in California I need to get to bed and get some rest so that's it thanks for watching and peace